Curl is the first 797 autonomous site in the world, and it's also the first site with an oil sands application. The biggest challenge that we face up here is probably just the remoteness of our site. Closest town's about an hour and a half away. It's a bit of a strange location because no one lives here. We've got the challenges of snow, which traction related challenges come up with that. And then we also have the challenges of soft ground conditions. The biggest challenges are just how quickly the weather can change here. Anything from the snow to rain, super soft underfoot conditions. And our autonomous trucks, they can handle everything that we throw at them. So in the early days, this was really more of a tabletop exercise. You know, how do we make curl safer and more profitable? Started discussing the idea with uh, Caterpillar, who are our partners. 2016, we started with a data truck. A year later, we were operating two trucks in kind of a sandbox uh, testing environment. And then a year afterward, in uh, late 2018, we started moving productive material 24-7. And now, we're hauling material day and night we're more productive in the staffed operation. The challenges we experienced here were unknown when we came up to do the agreement. We didn't know how the product was going to respond, didn't know what the environmental conditions were going to be. Then secondly, how the technology was, was going to perform in the field with the unique environmental conditions that we're facing. We've done significant testing, validation, further development, and we're in a position now where we're very comfortable. It's a combination of a lot of different things. Uh, so we have our MindStar suite of software, and that includes our fleet, which is our dispatch system, as well as Terrain, which is our loading and grading system. And then there's the command system, which allows the trucks to haul autonomously. And you need to have everything working properly in order to get the full value out of your autonomous mine. Initial expectation in the early days was just making sure we can safely deploy autonomy at our site and can we gain the confidence of our workforce. Imperial from day one has said no truck drivers are losing their job. We're going to redeploy people, we're going to retrain people, and through that we're going to ensure that our workforce is engaged in this project. For anybody who's been in mining for so long, you get used to doing certain things a certain way. So I was very skeptical at the beginning. Very new technology. No one on the team actually had a lot of background in the actual AHS side of things. Caterpillar really impressed me over with the quality of people they actually brought in from the different areas of the company, put them all together, right from their management, right to the people on the ground. Real impressive. Yeah, we definitely had to manage expectations from the beginning of the project. Everyone knew it was going to be a development project and that we weren't going to be productive for a long time. So just being transparent in what we're doing and why we're doing it was very important for us to proceed and for IOL to be able to be confident in us and provide us with the areas and resources that we needed in order to get the job done. When we went to two trucks, we became the largest 797 autonomous site in the world. Shortly after that, we hauled the first load autonomously. So that was another big milestone, the first productive tons by uh, autonomous 797. And then we got the shovel and we were able to implement our terrain system on the shovel, which allows it to interact with the autonomous trucks. And we did the first full production cycle, full first load with an autonomous 797. Right now we're hauling autonomously with one CAT 7495 rope shovel. And we usually have about six AHS trucks in operation. Just because of the haul that we have, that's all that the shovel can really take. Um, so it's a pretty large scale operation and converting the entire operation is going to be a huge challenge. But, you know, that's why we're here is to tackle that challenge and provide support for IOL through this journey. We had to leverage the expertise of Caterpillar and Finney and the Imperial side and we had to come together as one team. I think that's why we're successful. You can assemble the world's smartest people together and they won't be able to accomplish what we have if they're not working as one team. We have a one family culture. It's where we look out for each other, we look out for a brother, we look out for a sister, and safety is first and foremost in our way we do business. We've broken down the barriers between the different companies. It doesn't matter if you're an Imperial person or a Caterpillar person or a Finning person. You have the right to speak up, you have the right to call out things that are not safe, you have the right to, frankly, be emboldened to come up with new ideas, new ways of doing things. And I think that's what has made us successful, is that one team approach. The thing that may surprise a lot of newcomers to command for hauling is first and foremost safety, removing the hazards from the autonomous operating zone, and secondly, 
far more productive. It is going to provide more hours on your equipment by not stopping for lunch breaks, rest breaks and so forth. And it's actually going to put more tons in the crusher at the end of the day. So the levels of protection in the, with the autonomous system, kind of the two plus one rule. So we have, always have two layers of protection plus the A-stop that, that I have right here. This ensures that no matter what, you always have control of the, the trucks and you can always stop them. We pointed out to them when they came up here to look at, you know, this, this is your biggest challenge. This is going to be one of your most important things you need to figure out. You wouldn't be able to run these trucks at all because they go in the exact same spot every time and you would do probably 10 loads and the truck would be stuck. Well, Caterpillar figured it out. Our autonomous trucks can adapt to all these situations. So in cases where there's a ton of fog, blizzards out, uh, the LiDAR can pick up uh, equipment in the distance. And also all of our equipment is site aware. So in these cases, the trucks always know where everything is and it's really a lot safer as a result of that. Our pickup trucks run MindStar on a day-to-day -day basis and it's just been great because the equipment always knows where every other piece is so it's flawlessly executed throughout that way but MindStar in general it's just been a great program that we have continued to develop with CAT and utilize as best as possible. So the controller's job with MindStar is basically dispatching the trucks. They can stop the trucks, get them going again and realistically, once everything is going smoothly, quite often that it requires minimal input from them. But when things do get a little hairy, they're the ones that can move the trucks around, getting around objects and control the trucks other ways. We've created software solutions in order to tackle that. And it's something that you have to deal with in the manned environment and you have to deal in the autonomous environment. But with good controls and good input from the field operators, we're able to actually control the trucks to not go into the worst areas. And we know 100% for sure that if we have an exclusion zone down, they're not going to go into those soft areas. And that's a game changer, a complete game changer. If we didn't have that piece of technology, this wouldn't work in the oil sands. So the biggest thing about being a part of the Global MindStar team is that everything, every day has new challenges. Even from the way this project has gone from last year to now, you really see the value that you put in. When things get more productive, KPIs increase and the mine runs better as a whole. From a safety side, things have been going really well due to the simple fact we've had no incidents due to autonomy at our site. The biggest feedback that I hear from the operators is not about the productivity, not about certain features, but really how safe they feel amongst the trucks compared to the staff world. Every time they have to drive through the staff world, they're a little bit more hesitant knowing that the staff trucks are more unpredictable. They don't know what they'll be doing, where they'll be going. They don't know if that turn signal action means the truck will be turning or not. Whereas in an autonomous world, the operators know that which path the truck will be taking. They know that the truck will stop because of the site awareness, because of the perception system. And they feel more at ease in the autonomous world compared to the staff world. The biggest benefit I think would be the shift change as well as fly days. You get to avoid the downtime that your trucks are sitting there while you switch out operators. So as long as your shovel's running, your autonomous trucks can be running 24 seven. So it can build up to quite a bit of difference between the man versus autonomous. So that's kind of like the background benefit that a lot of people don't see is that these trucks are consistently coming at certain increments to the shovels, so that they're not all coming at once and same as the, as the dump as well. I've seen the trucks running on their own and knowing that they're controlled elsewhere and for the most part they're just controlling themselves and driving safely, productively. Getting the operator out of the cab and removing them from the machine, if there was an incident with a tire failure or a serious uh, incident, it removes them from the machine and creates a safer environment for the operator. The relationship we have with Imperial Oil is by far the best I've ever been involved with. They are very transparent, very open, they certainly set the bar very high and it's what we strive to achieve in terms of being able to deliver a product and it's a very open, transparent process and relationship. In this day and age in Canada to get full regulatory approval to proceed with a project is a, a pretty big achievement. It's been a, a good win for us on our team. I think it works just because we brought everyone together every day and I don't really have any closed doors. My desk is right there. And the ILS people are sitting right here. We've got cat desk over here. Um, like we work together every day for 10 days straight for 12 hours. We know each other personally and we're all kind of working towards the same thing. Working for cat, 
um, on this project and we're working with the dealer hand in hand, working with the customer hand in hand and everything just blends in together. Quite often you don't even realize you're working with different teams because uh, everyone just is part of the one team, the one family here. Very early on I didn't think that uh, this level of cohesion could be possible in such a diverse team. We're talking about operations and engineering and accounting folks, then we're talking about three different companies, you know, different cultures. But I'm most proud of the, the team that we have up here at site. They've done an excellent job. We're all like a family and, you know, at, at Curl we say that, one family. And I think this team truly represents it and it's been awesome to work with uh, everyone here. Imperial Oil, Finning Canada, and Caterpillar. Together, we are mining better.